pathologists are indispensable to the operation of our medical system, but who are they and what do they actually do? Professor Bill Rawlinson is a microbiologist with a major metropolitan hospital. He focuses on the speciality of virology, or the study and detection of viruses. Clinical microbiology is an extremely important role because one of the key things is that infectious diseases are preventable. And so when you have something that's preventable, you have to know what it is before you can treat it. You have to know what it is before you can do the right vaccination strategy. You have to know what it is before you can have appropriate public health measures. And so as a clinical microbiologist, that's my job. As a microbiologist, you have oversight of how to investigate somebody who might have an infection. And the typical sort of problem would be somebody presents to the emergency department, they've got a fever, and the simple tests suggest that might be a virus, and so the microbiologist might be seeing the patient advising about further swabs or further tests, either to prove the virus or to prove that there's something else going on. The patient is now on, on vancomycin. Right. Um, so they've changed their antibiotics based upon yes. the sensitivities that we've done in the lab. Yes. Bugs, whether they're viruses, whether they're bacteria, whether they're parasites, are clever and they respond in a sense to, to what we're doing to them. And antibiotic resistance is a classic example of that. And so there are microbiologists uh, and pathologists involved not only in testing but also in the development of new antibiotics and the development in fact of new tests. So microbiology consists of people who study bacteria only or specifically, people who study parasites, people who study viruses. And I study viruses, which is virology. I chose it because it's a, it's a very dynamic area. HIV, for example, when I was training, you couldn't treat HIV. People got HIV, it was very sad and they died, and they often died fairly quickly. We now have very good antiviral agents for HIV, they're very sophisticated and they prolong people's lives virtually to the same length of life as people without HIV. That's an enormous advance and that's occurred over the time that I've been training in virology. To become a microbiologist, Dr Rawlinson studied for 15 years. First he qualified as a practitioner, he then undertook an internship a year of general clinical residency, followed by a PhD and a further five years training as a registrar. Infectious diseases are now very much a global issue and we're seeing that in the approaches that we have and clinical microbiologists and clinical virologists are participating in discussions with the WHO both at an area level as well as at a global level. One of the things that's particularly emerged over the last 10 or 15 years, uh, I think particularly since terrorist attacks overseas, has been the issue of biological warfare. Le clinical microbiology laboratories and clinical microbiologists are at the forefront of detecting bioterrorism agents. Pathologists in general play a much wider role than just diagnosing disease. They're actually involved in diagnosing more than 70% of disease and work across a range of different specialities. These include anatomical pathology, the study of disease through tissue, forensic pathology, which seeks to investigate and define the cause of unexpected death, genetics, which looks at chromosomes and DNA from cells to diagnose genetic diseases, hematology, which deals with diseases which affect the blood, such as anemia, leukemia, lymphoma, and clotting or bleeding disorders. Immunopathology, which looks at allergic reactions, autoimmune disorders, such as diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, and thyroid conditions. Chemical pathology, which deals with the entire range of disease and encompasses detecting changes in a number of substances in blood and body fluids, such as electrolytes, enzymes, and proteins and general pathology, which covers the profession as a whole. It's a bit of a challenge. I mean, viruses used to be something that took a long time to grow. By the time we knew about it, the patient had either left the hospital or gotten more ill or died, possibly. Now, we detect viruses in, in a, a matter of hours, and that allows us to do our job as doctors a lot better. 